write, May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the endurance of Christ. Let us pray together in this liturgy for the grace we need to turn our hearts to God and live in the love and mercy of Jesus. The second collection today is to support the Archdiocese for the military. Thank you for supporting our ministry to our service personnel. Please stand. Let's all sing together our gathering song. Jesus Christ, with the Holy 
Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the other, said, What do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, You accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life. But the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport. He put out his tongue at once when told to do so, and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of his laws, I disdain them. From him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. When he was near death, he said, it is my choice to die at the hands of men, with the hope God gives of being raised by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord.
reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, brothers and sisters. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us so that the word of the Lord may speed forward and be glorified, as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from perverse and wicked people, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. We are confident of you in the Lord that what we instruct you, you are doing and will continue to do. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the endurance of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
And they didn't care what happened to them because ultimately what could happen if they turned away from God would be far worse. The scholars and those who put our liturgy together brought that seven brothers in with today's gospel account and Jesus being questioned. He had just had his triumphal entry to Jerusalem. He was teaching in the temple and now the Sadducees who don't believe in resurrection wanted to trick Jesus. Wanted to trip him up and say, what do you really think about this one? And if you say, well, that doesn't matter, well, what does the law of Moses say? But Jesus gives us an insight into heaven that heaven will be a place where, no, it isn't married and remarried, but it is a kingdom of love for all who exist there. The ultimate of love and life is the promise that comes to us in heaven. Without jealousy, without hatred, without certain picking of individual characters, but instead, we will all, in a, in a sense, be married to each other. This is the promise of the Lord. And so as we endure our sufferings for what we believe in, for gospel values, for teaching the truth that comes to us from the Lord, as we face those difficulties and challenges of everyday life, be there be they that our own health, our emotions, our worries and concerns, all of these things, St. Paul reminds us in the second reading, Jesus is with us to care for us, to guide us and to bless us with his love, and to lead us into hope and promise. Yes, even to start to share that now in this life. But indeed, when we are called to the resurrection, what a great and wonderful new life we will have. So may we continue to be encouraged, to be strengthened in every good deed and word. May we follow the will of the Lord, and may we follow his command to love one another as he loves us.
for the sick and the recovering, and for those who mourn, that the God of mercy will console their hearts and lift their spirits with hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, especially those listed in our book of remembrance, that the God of the living may give them eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people of St. Mary Parish for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear these prayers, prayers which you inspire us to make. May the good that we do in this time and place make us sons and daughters of the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. <coughs> took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. <laughs> Taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the men and women who minister in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us conclude our prayers. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for being here. I hope you remember where you parked your car. <laughs> uh, the festival is going until 6 o'clock. There are three delicious smelling, I haven't tried the food yet, but delicious smelling food trucks. So if you don't know what to have for dinner tonight, you can stop on the way. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us live in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Let us all sing together. Precious Lord, take my hand. Number six.